here. Uh, I just wanted to take a few minutes to go through some of the sounds on the Bogner 20th Anniversary Shiva. Uh, it's a great head. I've had this head for a couple years now and the folks at Bogner have been uh, very cool to me so I wanted to do a few sound clips and uh, give you an inside scoop of what this thing sounds like. It has a lot of bells and whistles on it so uh, I wouldn't uh, be able to go through all of them in a short amount of time, but I'm just going to go through how a, a basic setup on it. All of the EQs are basically at, at five o'clock. The presence is at five o'clock and the volume is not very loud either. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm running the head uh, into a cabinet, which is mic'd up in the other room. It's a little 112 cabinet with a JBL speaker and it's got uh, a SM57 on it. So it's no big deal. It's coming back. It's going into an Apogee um, duet into Logic. So uh, all stuff that's, you know, uh, rather inexpensive. And it's so, you know, if you can get a good tone like this, then you're, you're good to go. Uh, so this is the clean sound. And I do have the bright switch on. This is a, a pretty dark guitar. This is a uh, early 2000s Les Paul uh, classic, all stock. Uh, but you see it sounds really nice. Really nice bluesy. Very cool. Um, I think this is unique to the 20th anniversary. I'm not sure, so don't quote me on this, but the boost switch also works with it, uh, which I think worked on the, on the other ones, but I think it disengaged the EQ, something like that. So I think it keeps the EQ intact. And the cool thing about the boost on the clean channel on the 20th anniversary is it gives you some more overtones, maybe just a little bit of sparkle. And if you crank it up, it sounds a lot like a, an old Marshall, an old Marshall pe plexi just just cranked up, sounds really great. I can't really do that, but you're gonna be able to hear a, a, a bit of that when I put the boost on. So here's the clean channel with the boost. So it gives you quite a bit of boost and also gives you some nice overtones and that clean channel actually takes pedals really great. I've played gigs where uh, I've almost used just the clean channel with some pedals too. It sounds great. So 
Moving on to the Dirty Channel. Uh, the Dirty Channel is uh, very Marshall-esque, but also has that signature kind of Bogner thing, that Bogner mid-range, I guess, is, is what, it, uh, what they have. It's very unique. And um, it has tons of gain uh, on tap, more than I ever use, but uh, also has what's called a modern switch, which gives, which gives you even more gain, which is kind of like the Uber shawl, I, I guess, uh, similar to that. <clears throat> Uh, but here's the uh, dirty channel without that switch engaged, and it's not even turned up all the way. You see, it's a, it's plenty of gain. <laughs> So it's got really cool uh, overdrive to it, real mean and, and aggressive. And again, I have the EQ flat, but you can even you know bring in a little bit more of whatever you like. Um, there is a couple of uh, other options. There's a bright switch on it. I don't have the bright switch on right now. It's just straight up. And there is a modern switch, which gives it this little bit more scooped out kind of sound. Uh, I'm not crazy about that. I like a little bit more of those mids in there. And then it has a, another switch in there that does, makes it a little bit spongier to play, uh, which I don't use either. So, <laughs> so it's, pretty, it's pretty good just the way it is, but there is a lot of options on it. Uh, what's really cool is the Boost. There's a, Boost has a separate volume, um, and you can really get your solos to s poke out in the mix and sing. Uh, not only do you get an extra bit of volume, but you also get a little bit more overdrive and a little bit more sustain. So, uh, you know, if you're, if you're playing your rhythm and, you, f and uh, you go to your solo, you don't have to worry about, you know, clunking around because there's going to be a little bit more sustain put on there. It feels really nice. And you can really crank the volume up and really get your solos to poke way out in the mix. So there's without the boost. Here's with the boost. Almost like having a whole nother channel. And it's very easy to play. Uh, so that's uh, just a basic rundown of the Wagner 20th anniversary Shiva. Uh, if you have any questions or if you want me to try to demo some of the other tones, I'll, I'll do that. Those are the most usable tones and that's almost exactly how I use it. Uh, maybe not quite as much gain as that, but I wanted to show you how much is available there. And uh, sounds really great with uh, you know any guitar I've played, any Strat or anything like that. So and it sounds really great with pedals too. So uh, check it out. All right, and um, you can't go wrong with Bogner. Whether you get the 20th anniversary or just a straight up Shiva, they're all really killer. And uh, I think this particular one has the KT88 tubes in it. You can you can have it with EL34s or 6L6s or whatever your choice is. I, I dig it the way it is. I, I'm totally happy with it. So get yourself a Bogner, man, and rock it, yeah! <laughs>